Hey everybody, welcome back to Coop the Grill. I'm Chef Sherman. Today we're going to be making one of the things my dad used to make when I was a kid with a little bit of a change on the bread, but pretty much this is this is how he did it. Um, we're making steak sandwiches for dinner tonight. So we've got some beef cube steak. We've got some venison chops. I meant to pull out venison stew meat and I pulled out the chops instead. We've got a green pepper. We're going to slice this one up. We've got a yellow onion. We're going to slice this one up too. We've got some sliced mushrooms. We're going to put those in uh, with the mush with the uh, pepper and the onion after the steaks are, uh, are well done. We've got some soy sauce we're going to use. The soy sauce kills the game taste in the venison. We've got some Swiss cheese and some cheddar Asiago cheese, and that's going to go on our ciabatta rolls. And that's how we're going to make steak sandwiches here at Coupe de Grill. Today, we are going to use one of our fancy Kulina knives that my wife got me for Christmas. Uh, I can't remember what this one is called, other than it's a Kulina knife. But uh, this is the one that I chose for today because I love fun cooking utensils. So we're going to start with the pepper because the onions make me cry. Because they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Uh, this is something I saw on TikTok, and we're going to try it out here. But uh, where the uh, pepper has the crease, you cut it down here, down here, down here. And it's supposed to make the slicing it easier. Uh, there, there. There. And cut the end off. Holy Dude, cow. Dude, it worked. That was fantastic. I'm going to do that from now on. Right? These knives are absolutely fantastic. I love it. And now for the venison chops. I had to defrost these a little bit. They were still a little bit frozen. We're not gonna dice them up really small, but I want them to be about stew meat size, so about half inch to three quarters of an inch. And uh, about like that. And so big enough so they don't fall off your sandwich but small enough so you're not eating half a steak when you're trying to bite. Yeah, pretty much. Now that we have our venison all chopped up, we're gonna put that on the burner with a little bit of butter and a little bit of soy sauce. We're gonna get that browned up first. And then once the beef is cooked, the venison should be tender. That's the plan. We've got our venison with a tablespoon and a half of butter where that will melt down. Uh, We're going to use the Boar's Night Out White Lightning Double Garlic Butter Seasoning. We're also going to put some cheesesteak seasoning because basically these are Philly cheesesteaks. We're also going to add a little bit of soy sauce to this uh, because it kills the gamey taste in the venison. I know I said we were going to do venison and beef, and just so you guys know where all the stuff came from, the beef came from Connor's Farm, and the venison came from Coop de Grill Farms. That's not a farm, uh, but we came from my own land, and it's just fantastic that I get to cook the venison that I harvested on my own land. So here we go. And when, you, when you're putting these seasonings on, you don't need to over-season it. We're going to season it all again when the beef goes in the pan. And probably again when the uh, mushrooms, onions, and green peppers go in the pan. Hey, you got it right that time. I did. Green peppers. Green peppers, not green onions. Yeah. I brought you a rum and coke. Thank you very much. A little bit of soy sauce for good measure. But don't measure it. We don't measure anything here. We measure with our heart. That's right. I can feel it in my heart. 
<laughs> I hope not. Oh, you can see that our venison is nice and browned up already. We have chopped up our cube steak and we're going to put that in with it. I'm going to cover that up. We're going to let that cook. We're going to get that nice and tender in the frying pan here on a low to medium heat. And then we're going to add the onions, the peppers, and the mushrooms to that once this is good and tender. And then we're going to add it all to a sandwich. You can see that the uh, meat is all browned up. Oh, stop making faces at me. The meat is all browned up. We're going to keep cooking this down until that juice is all cooked into the meat, stirring it occasionally before <clears throat> before we add all of the vegetables in. We're going to add two more uh, pieces of butter, another tablespoon and a half, green peppers, our onions, and our mushrooms. Cover them up. Oh, you know what? Season them. We're going to season this stuff too. This is starting to scorch to the bottom of the pan. We're going to put a little bit of water in here just to uh, keep it moist. Got our ciabatta buns. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut this and you want to cut it to be about evenly from the bottom to the top. We started our oven up at uh, broil on high. We're going to put them in the oven for about five minutes. They're going to get nice and golden brown. Then you pull them out. We're going to put a slice of cheddar asiago on the bottoms and we're going to put a slice of swiss on the tops buttered and seasoned we put some uh cheesesteak seasoning on these ones and some garlic on these ones we're going to pop these in the oven what are you doing to that cat <laughs> these guys are distracting you're weird all right so it's been five minutes and check these out look at that golden brown right there oh, oh yeah and that smells delicious we're going to pull these out put some cheese on them quick Crying out loud, lady. We're gonna throw these back in for about a minute and a half. We're gonna check them after a minute and a half and see, but most of this cheese is gonna be melted. That high broil really does a good job. I just shut the heat off on this thing. This is gonna be absolutely fantastic. When we put it on our buns, our buns are done. Oh. Look at that melted cheese. That was a minute and a half on high broil. Ma'am, just had a piece of that steak. That is absolutely fantastic. Steak sandwiches, or as we used to call them when I was growing up, hoagies. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Drop a comment. If there's a different way you guys like to cook these things, absolutely let me know. If there's something else you guys would like to see me cook, let me know, and I'll try to put it on the list. Yeah. What? Not tube steak, it's cube steak. Cube steak. I said that. We've got a green onion. That's not a green onion. No, nope, that's, that's a green pepper. That's a pepper. If you All get right. a green onion, you don't want to chop it up because it's not ready. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> we've got, we've got. Do you want to uh, start over? No, I don't want you to start over. <laughs> Today we worked on colors. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this again. For real? For real. You don't want to start with your meat again? You always want to start with my meat again. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <clears throat> it's green. What did you go to? To be able to do a kitchen stuff in, at the thing. You had to be certified. Yeah. In what? Kitchen stuff. <laughs> okay, good. <clears throat> you also say fantastic and delicious. It is delicious. And so this is fantastically delicious. I know. You're welcome. I'm not complaining. All right. I know I said we're going to do... Ah, I know. <clears throat> Keep it together. <laughs> Your onions are escaping. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We got a super fancy copper chef knife. Can you see that? Oh, copper yeah. chef right there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut this. And you want to cut it to be about... 
evenly from the bottom to the top because I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, but you do want to cut it about even. So I think that's about even. Doesn't need to be perfect. Don't cut your finger off. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's really not mm -mm. at all. You can try again? I'm going to try again. My dad would always make these. We called them hoagies when I was a kid growing up. And I always wanted to make these when I was uh, an adult. Right? Well, you're mostly an adult. I'm mostly an adult. Holy cow. You're the size of an adult. Well, thank you. I'm glad I'm adult sized. Very tall. You've been making them for years. I have been making these for years. And they're delicious. They are delicious. Everything we make is delicious. It's Coop to Grill, man. <laughs> How many of those rum and Cokes have you had? I Well, the first one had a lot of extra rum. What? It was a little extra oversized. It was, it was Sherman-sized. Hmm. Give me a hmm. hmm. You gave me rum. Are we done with this? Yes, we're done with this.